gonna be a little... It's going to be a great wedding. God is telling us that today, today is a beautiful day for love. You goddamn cocksucker! You haven't lost your touch. Is she in there? She doesn't want you here. I'd like to hear that from my daughter, thank you very much. You are not getting in that room. I came here to walk her down the aisle. She's ashamed of you. She loves me. You've been away a long time, Jer. She's changed. And she knows what you did. I'll explain it to her. You're a murderer. No, I never. A killer. I never killed a soul. I never killed a soul. No. No, you just buried him after someone else did. You are a stain on this family, and we want you to leave. I'm asking so she doesn't have to. Angie, you're as beautiful as the day I met you and the night we married, but you are out of your goddamn little mind if you think I'm walking out of here voluntarily. Get the bishop. Get the pope. Have him throw me on a cross. I don't give a shit. I'm walking my little girl down the aisle. What a gorgeous day. Such a sweet couple. Who do you know, the bride or the groom? The bride. Oh, Lily, such a darling. I was her first landlady. How do you know her? I'm the father. I didn't know she had... <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Well, I'm glad you could be here for her wedding. You might be the only one. Well, uh, what do you do? Gardening. I do gardening. Oh. <clears throat> Running a little late, is she? It's just a few minutes. But you know, Lily, she's strong as a rock. So. I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him straight in his goddamn little head. Lily! Oh, I can't do this. I can't see him right now. Not today. You don't have to see him. I thought his parole wasn't up for another six months. Good behavior. He probably bribed the parole board to threaten him, whichever he felt like doing that day. Lily, uh, honey, is, is everything okay? What's going on, man? She getting cold feet? No, but thank you for bringing that up. Look, all I'm saying is that she's hot. Hot girls don't like to be tied down. Unless I'm doing the tying, right, Con? <laughs> you are the worst best man ever. Honey, please relax. Breathe into the bag. I promise you, this is all being taken care of. Jerry. Cal. Surprised to see you here. I'm sure. Can we talk for a sec? Go ahead. I think maybe it's best we talk outside the church. gotten stronger. You're a piece of shit, Jerry. I knew that from the first moment my sister brought you home. I said, oh yeah, there's a winner. Eh, wrong. Hey, this whole time I thought you liked me. Be a man and get the fuck out. Can't do that. Then hit me! Can't do that either. You think you're hard because you dig time? You're a pussy. I know it, my sister knows it, and your daughter knows it. She tell you to say that? Take a hint and walk. If you're done beating the shit out of me, I'm gonna walk my daughter down the aisle. She knows you fucked other women! <clears throat> In the 34 years I've been married to your sister, I never touched another woman. Not once. If I find you've been beating Lily that bullshit, I'm gonna come back and break your arm into tiny little pieces. Got it? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Happy wedding day. I'll save you a dance. Lilypad? It's okay to come out now. I'm sure your dad isn't that bad of a guy. Oh shit. She doesn't want to come out, huh? No. 
like the broken Tamagotchi all over again. <laughs> Let's talk, you and I. Okay. Oh, God. I don't know you. I'm Connor. Yeah, I knew that much. Uh, Connor Bowen. Bowen? What is that, uh, Scottish? Uh, it's, uh, w Welsh. Ever been, uh, married, Connor Bowen? Mm, no, of, of, of course not. Plan on being married more than once? No. Good. Ever lay a hand on her? Never. Good answer. You like poker, Connor Bowen? I'm a dental assistant, so that's... Uh... Even dentists need to bet on the horses once in a while. <clears throat> poker, like a lot of things, is a numbers game. You could be down a hundred million dollars. If you know what you're doing, plus a little uh, lightning in a bottle, you can win it all back, and then some. I used to play poker, maybe too much. But I always love the possibility of a uh, turnaround. If you uh, really went for it, I mean really gave it your all, anything can change. You know what I'm talking about? No, uh, not at all. Okay, well, uh, let me explain. A father. Mr. Bowen, there you are. Is everything all right? Yes, uh, everything's okay. Good to meet your father. This is Lily's father. I thought her father died in Iraq. Lily's fine father. We're just gonna go check on her, right, Connor? Right, yes. Maybe I should talk with her, see what the problem is. Um, the problem is a lot worse than we were letting on. There's a, there's a uh, crisis of uh, faith happening. It's a personal thing and well, uh, I don't want to say anything in front of the boy. Of course. It's about uh, sexual religious undertones interfering with the union. Mm. What are you doing? Oh. Connor. Excuse me. A father has to see his daughter on her wedding this day. Is my church. I'm asking you, man to man. Please door. get me in that room. Uh, okay, okay. Hello? She's not going to see you. Why are you doing this? I'm her mother. It's my job to protect her. Isn't it a father's job to give his daughter away? You haven't been her father for a long time, Jer. Let me just state for clarification in case there's any confusion. I never, not once, in all my days since I met you at Queens College Book Fair, fall 1983, ever betrayed your faith. Maybe. There's no maybe about it. This family means more to me than anything in the world. And unless I hear it from her lips, I can't leave. Do you really think I'm as beautiful as the day you met me? No. You're ten times more beautiful than the girl I met. And I'm sorry I wasn't there. I really am. For the birthdays, her first date, her first car, her graduation. She had to do all that without a father. And now we're going to add her wedding to that list? I can't do that. I don't think she wants to do that either. Lil. Jerry. Darling, you look gorgeous. See this flower here? It's a white lily. You didn't notice, but uh, I was a flower buff before I met your mother, and this was always my favorite flower. As soon as you were being born, it was like seeing the most beautiful thing in the world, and only one thing popped into my head, Lily. I just wanted you to know. Jerry. I just thought you should know how you got your name. Jerry. 
Here, you'll see how beautiful it is, I swear. Dad! Leave. Do you, Lily, take Connor to be thy wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death you do part? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I know Uncle Cal's a bad dancer, but I didn't think he was that bad. <laughs> so what do you think of the woman you just said I do to? Sitting in a kid's playroom crying on her wedding day? I think you look pretty hot. Seriously? You'd want to run away? I think the woman I said I do to would kill me if I did that. I don't know if you know her, but she's the scariest woman I've ever met. She's also the strongest. She doesn't back down, and she doesn't hide away. That's why I love her. That's why I said, I do. Do you smell smoke? You shouldn't be out here without shoes on. I'll be fine. You found Buff too? I don't know if you know this, but it's hard for an ex-con to get a car. Can't imagine why. Sorry I didn't get you a gift. Did you, uh... Did you really punch Uncle Cal in the face? Yeah. That beats a toaster. I ever tell you about your grandpa? He was a real prick. I mean, a real son of a bitch. Last time I saw him, I was 16. He said, uh, work hard, keep your head down, and sleep with as many girls as you can. He's a real charmer. I wish he was there when I married your mother. Really? Why? You can't help it, it's biology. Come out with uh, ten fingers, ten toes, and automatically love your parents. For better or for worse, you may hate them, but you sure as hell love them too. That's why it hurts so much when they don't come through for you, they don't show up. I'm sorry it took me so long to show up. You, uh, want to come in for some cake? Something, you know, is... You want a cake? You can, or whatever. Your mom would probably throw it at me. <laughs> sure.
should go back in and see your husband. He misses you. How do you know? He's, uh, nervous. And scrawny. But he loves you. One dance to the road? Will, you're gonna cut your feet. There's a uh, glass. Dad. I'll be fine. Thank you.